Hello again, everyone. Thanks for joining me for the behind the curtain look at the new events and map store. A big thank you to Sid for going over the rebrand of the app and the future visions for the app. While the app team has been working diligently to release Avenza Maps 4.0, our web store team has been working to rebuild the site from the ground up. Over the years, we've been able to receive a lot of direct user feedback through our support center, publisher onboarding sessions and interactions, and app reviews. We are constantly taking this feedback and putting it into action with our updates. But by releasing such a massive update through the rebranding process, we are able to take more of this feedback than ever before and use it to improve our user experience across the board. Today, we'll be going over a few things, primarily the new search, product reviews, perks of the new platform, and what's to come. So we'll start off with a quick refresher of what the current website looks like. If you visit eventsamaps.com, you'll be directed here. We'll see the map store search, the map product information page, the publisher blog page, and the Avenza Maps blog page. Now, with the new platform, we've completely redesigned everything from top to bottom. The new platform is simple and clean, and we'll get right into exploring it. First, we will take a quick look at the home page. One of the goals of the new website is to make it easier to find the maps that users are looking for and publishers want to sell. From the beginning, we wanted our users to understand in a quick glance what the value proposition of Avenza Maps is. The intent of the redesigned homepage is to put the maps we have available front and center. Instead of having to hunt for a search page, users can search for maps right away from the homepage. We want the home page to be a more cohesive experience than before, where users can slowly scroll down the page and learn more about the app and products in a fun and digestible way. They can discover our features in a way that feels organic. Now, let's get right into exploring and learning about the new features. One of the main features we've completely redone is the search. Some of the new features of our search that will help users find more relevant content quicker are AI technology that learns from user behavior to update results and ranking criteria, more typo tolerance and suggestions, a custom synonym database, both manual and AI generated. So this means that when you type in Nat Geo instead of National Geographic or NOAA, instead of National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, the search understands what you're looking for and pulls up relevant maps. The search, also, search results also refine as the user types, and there is a custom ranking to refine which types of maps show up for which searches. So we have our general search and then our advanced search. And we're going to start by looking for a specific place. And we're going to look for Banff in Alberta. So first we can see that there is a curated collection of maps at the top. And what that means is that it's a group of maps together from different publishers for the same location. This is a geographic collection page. Geographic collection pages will allow users to search through curated collections based on national parks, popular landmarks, and well-known travel destinations. After that, we can scroll down and see the individual maps listed below and there are lots of individual maps listed below. We can also see if we click on the locations tab, specific locations with Banff, and then under the pages tab, if we had any pages that relate to Banff, they would be there. So we're going to go ahead and click on the geographic collection page of Banff, and we're taken to a page that houses a large collection of Banff specific maps. You'll notice the nice header image and the description there. Scrolling down, we will see pages of maps that are available. And the maps appear quickly, and you can easily sort through them as you see fit. We'll see at the top here, we have the option to sort them by activity, category, free maps only. And then on the right hand side, you can view one map or search price high to low, best map, etc. So 
With the new map store, we've also undergone a recategorization of maps. The recategorization better distinguishes between map type and use case where the lines were previously blurred. And now you may ask, what's the difference between a category and an activity? Well, let me give you an answer. Categories describe a certain type of map, for example, topographic or nautical, whereas activities describe the reason the user would find a map, example, camping, hiking, fishing, and so on. So having only one map category per product and up to five activities helps to better distinguish maps between each other and it increases search accuracy. Along with this recategorization, we've also added a unique landing page for each activity. So we can see here under the adventures tab, they're listed and on this page, you can see all of the different activity pages we have. So for example, we even have an entire activity page dedicated to fishing maps. This is a place a user can navigate to on our website if they want to learn more about how events and maps can help them with this activity, where they can find specialized fishing maps and more. So we'll see a little splash screen of the app here, the options for more information, and then some pages about events and maps. Okay, so now we're going to look at the advanced search. So if we click on the search bar at the top and we see the advanced search pop up, you can click on that to take you to the advanced search. So when you do that, you're brought to the advanced search page and here you can search filter by activity, category, publisher, etc. So first we're going to look for skiing maps and then we're going to filter by publisher and we're going to look for map synergy. And then we're going to sort them A to Z under the other search, sorry, sort category we have here. And we'll see on the left, the maps update to be sorted A to Z. And then we also have the option on the right hand side to search on the map. So you can use the search this area button at the top here to search in one specific geographic location. The advanced search is very useful for narrowing down your selection of maps. So we're going to continue with our activity pages. We can find them again on the right here under adventures, but you can also search for them under the search bar. So we're going to look up fishing maps again and we'll see things come up under the locations and the maps update on the left, but we're going to go to the pages and we're going to look at the fishing activity page here. So at the, we're going to scroll through the page again and at the bottom of the activity page for fishing, we have some collections, geographic and publisher collection pages. Now, the publisher landing pages have been completely redone as one of our new features. So we're going to look at Angler's Edge mapping and check out their publisher landing page. Publisher landing pages also allow users to discover publisher pages from the home page of the website and allow publishers to better tell their story about their maps or their company. So we can see that there's a nice custom header image and publishers can add in their own text. We're working towards adding in the ability to link a publisher's social media right from their publisher page and add in their logo. From the publisher landing page, we're going to look at the next new feature, which is product reviews. You can see here that under a bunch of these maps, they have starred ratings. Now, the reviews are one of my favorite features on the new store because reviews help build trust and credibility with users. So two weeks after a map is purchased, users receive a polite request to write a review for the map. All the reviews are checked and vetted by our team for accuracy and relevancy. For example, if the review raves about the map but only gives one star, we'll reach out to the user for clarification. Or if the review is for the app itself, not the map, it will not be posted. Once the reviews are approved, they are published on the website. Now, reviews also help us gain insight from users through direct feedback and boost the SEO, which is the search engine optimization and discoverability of publishers maps. Reviews also help maps sold in the events and map store more likely to appear when searching on other search engines outside of the map store specifically. So now having reviews on maps does not guarantee that they will show up higher in the search results, because reviews are one of the many factors that come into play with search results. So all of these features benefit our map store publishers and users. The goal of the new map store is to create a stronger and more cohesive exp user experience. 
our customers should now be able to quickly and easily find and purchase the exact maps they're looking for. To go along with the new features, we're working towards improving marketing for our map store publishers to get your maps in the hands of users more easily. So if you're looking for our previous blog post, which I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, you can find the publisher blog posts linked at the bottom of the sitemap. So you can find our publisher blogs listed here. And if you're interested in being featured in one of our publisher blogs, please don't hesitate to reach out for a collaboration. Or if you are an Avenza Maps user and you're interested in contributing to a story or writing a blog post with us, you are also welcome to do so. And you can find our Avenza Maps blog posts available here. We also have listicle blogs in this section, features on different ways to use the app, et cetera, et cetera. So things we're working on for future updates include more customization to publisher pages, more geographic collections, gift cards and discount codes, and more. So that wraps up the behind the curtain look of the new Avenza Map Store. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and thank you for joining me.